my name is. You know what? It's. I just you, you can it's throw it at people. Did Hello. Oh. Yes. yes. Um, my name is Luis Tiago. Do you hear? My name is Luis Tiago again. <laughs> I'm from Portugal. Um, and I will present you Fair Coop. Uh, that is more uh, open, cooperative, uh, acting at a global scale, uh, and self-managed. Um, how can... I really don't like... Don't you really hear? Yeah, yeah, I don't hear. Yeah. Can you hear me back? I like yeah. this. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, because I can follow up this and I don't have the... Um, Okay, Fair Coop was created by Enric Dura uh, over one year. Uh, uh, he is one of the co-founders of the Integral Cooperative in Catalonia. And up to a time he decided to create this, um, he came up to this idea of creating this global open cooperative. Uh, he gathered a few people around them so he could give the big start and he started preparing uh, um, gathering a lot of tools that already existed in a way and um, create this uh, ecosystem that could create more um, this cooperative model but at a global scale. Um, how does it actually work? Uh, the Fair Coop is connected essentially um, as an, how can you say, um, a declared uh, also state of reaction to the actual economical system. Uh, so, but to do that, it was needed to create or to take advantage of some of the tools that already existed, like the cryptocurrency with Bitcoin. But Bitcoin has um, a completely uh, unbalanced uh, mechanism to solve the problems that we have in the whole world. Uh, and to give the answers to the communities as a commons. Uh, so they created Faircoin that has for now the same, um, the same relationship uh, with cryptocurrencies, but with time we want to remove it from the markets so that this full ecosystem can be independent from the actual one and in a way try to create another one at a global scale. Uh, that's the, the, first, the first step that uh, Fair Coop has given. After that, it's not just creating a coin or creating an ID, it's preparing the tools that are enough to develop all of the communities, uh, because all of this makes sense when we have people attached to it. And it's this, this global ID can only work if we have local uh, moments and people that can be attached to this global ID. Uh, and that's the moment that uh, we've decided, uh, because it's still in the beginning, to start to create the, the local nodes that are the operators that will make all of this working. I'm from the local node from Porto, for example. There's already another one in Barcelona. She is from London, uh, and she can tell you a little bit more, I think it's better, how it is, or how did she get to Fair Coup to uh, explain you a little bit more her own experience and we can introduce now at least by her experience I believe the, what is this like the local local node and what, how can we get to and how can we participate in this open process Ta -da -da. I'll need the mic now, because I'm thing. No, no, but this experience is not on explaining all of this ecosystem <laughs> so it's our third time explaining all this so uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Paula. Uh, I'm alone here in London. I only heard about Fair Club um, last month, to be honest. In January, and I joined last month. And basically, I'm trying to find people, like minded people, who could get together to study it, because I don't know much about it either. So, people who are interested in uh, starting nodes in London, we don't have one yet, but uh, we are open to get started. And I heard about it because uh, a friend of mine is involved, uh, and it uh, just makes sense. Makes sense to 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 look for solutions for the problem we have now. And uh, I think that's it for me. So if you, if you want to join us, just talk to me later, and uh, we can see how we can get started. Mm -hmm. Did that? Okay.
Uh, after all these ideas of creating the local nodes and the fair coin, we need tools to improve them. So it was developed a wallet because the fair coin is already working. Uh, beneath the wallet, uh, uh, it has been now launched the fair to earth. So it's a system where people can change also his regular coins, uh, euros, into fair coins and vice versa into Spain actually, because it's, uh, it only works for now there, the fair to earth. But it's, it's, it's still on a beta phase. Um, yes, the fair, co the fair wallet is on OS X. You can run it on Raspberry Pi. You can run it on Android. You can run it on Linux. You can use this wallet to start to make these exchanges of the, the coin. Uh, but this coin only will work if you create something to give a, a full dimension of all this cooperative system, why do, you, why do we want a, a coin? Why do we want an open cooperativism? Why do we want all this? Why do we want all this? Tools. For Can someone to answer me? Hmm? For people, to use between people. Exactly, because we need something to change. We need something to get values. We need something to share. And that's why all those tools were developed by other people. But without people, all of the technologies won't work. So we get to a time, so how do we exist? Every day when you go out to the street, you go to the shops and you buy things, you take a coffee, you have goods, you have services that you need, and it exists in a market. Even if it's a local market, over the, the, the door, the next door, and we, we thought about this tool, this fair market, where a lot of products that can be attached from all over the world, they can come up to the cooperative and then be how do we say separados? Split into the local nodes. But we can do it with a conscience how it is, what is the product. And someone talked here before from Ethereum about the connection that the, the how do we call it? Um, the chain. The chain that is indexed to a product, so that's conscience. We are creating conscience using this kind of technology. And this is the same thing. We need to create the, the products that maybe embedded in <coughs> should be in this all of these values for the all these commons that everybody speaks. But this is like materializing all of this, all of these things in a practical thing that may exist. Uh, Valerie, I, Valerie is working on the development team with Weezer also to produce the fair market. Uh, so there's a lot of people uh, and projects that are already involved to create this kind of tools. It's not my area, the um, technological or development uh, tools. Maybe if you want to ask something more, I think maybe she can answer, uh, she can give you some proper answers about it. Uh, actually, the, the main idea is how are we going to produce and how can we create this open cooperative to benefit the whole communities, but they all make sense with these local nodes. And that's what we really need. We need people that can develop more awareness under the local, under this uh, scheme, and participate to develop, develop, develop content, to develop ideas. Because this is really on the beginning, even if it has already some, uh, some tools developed. Uh, now we will also release the fair start. What is the fair start? Fair Start is a project that is in directly connected to the local nodes because they know the area, so they can create more, um, they can help facilitate the procedure, split and divide the commons that can be generated by the fair coins or to the coin and address it to this global ecosystem to facilitate someone that is on the other side, but always inside this uh, global and cooperative model, open to everybody. Um, I don't know what else can I explain a little more about it because it's really on the on the beginning moment. I don't know if uh, if your primavera wants to put some something more. So I started being interested in Fair Club uh, just like six months ago, something. No, six months ago. Um, my take on Fair Club is that it's uh, one of the first projects that actually took the paradigm of the cryptocurrency and the blockchain and try to apply it into a community-based way. 
So basically, to some extent, I'm just taking over the actual uh, the blockchain in order to destroy this concept of like a trustless thing and actually create trust through community on top of the blockchain in order to actually create like a common based blockchain initiative. So I think it's really... It's I'll really go home because you've just broken my talk, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, it's a really cool project and uh, I invite everyone to go on the website and to explore it. Yes, that's the main thing. That's what we really need, or about what are the needs are really participation. Uh, and it's in the moment to do that, to fix all the development that may be needed. And because only us individuals can really change the things if, you, if we participate. There were several projects presented here, and, that, and it's a common need that all these commons have. Mm -hmm. It's participation. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for us, all of us, with our own skills, to participate in several or in this one. And it's mainly about like figuring out what is the potential of the new technologies and uh, using them for the purpose of a community, as opposed Excellent. to just like deploying them and letting them by themselves, and then they might be caught or not Anyway, it's really interesting. Ah, for me, uh, I think I could. Uh, create a little bit more awareness about the topic. That was the goal of presenting effect hook. Uh, I think like... I think it's fair cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> my Portuguese accent. I, so because cop, right? cop, cop always remembers me a cop. Yeah. So, <laughs> and we say cook because it's cooperative. So it's... Uh, it's uh, I don't know. But uh, okay, fair coho. <laughs> I welcome you to fair coho. I think it's both actually. Yeah, no.